Hey, so what's another great town in Idaho that you might want to come visit or maybe even move to? Let's talk about that next. Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here, your expert real estate resource by your side when it's time to sell your home, buy a home, or relocate to the Boise, Idaho area. You'll find the Treasure Valley Dave Team Office Century located right here in beautiful Nampa, Idaho. Now, back to the video. Hey, Dave Edwards, Treasure Valley Dave here, and once again, we're right here in New Plymouth, Idaho. I wanted to come do an update. It's been a while, and there's been some big changes here. So, uh, if you've never even heard of New Plymouth before, let's take a look at downtown and uh, go from there. So there we are. Welcome to New Plymouth, 1869. This town has quite a history to it. And one of the reasons I'm out here is that uh, we've got some clients that just closed on their brand new home right here in New Plymouth. And I wanted to come see them. And I also want to take a look at what changes have been going on out here. So let me give you some uh, reports while we take a look at what's out here. This is from bestplaces.net. And they say that living in New Plymouth, Idaho is a wonderful experience. The town has a small town feel with all the conveniences of modern life. The area boasts beautiful mountains and ample outdoor activities from fishing and hunting to camping and hiking. In town, there are plenty of things to do, including visiting local shops, enjoying delicious restaurants, or taking part in community events such as the annual Festival of Lights. The weather is mild, today it's a little warm, and pleasant year-round, making it easy to enjoy all that New Plymouth has to offer. Overall, living in New Plymouth is an enjoyable experience that allows you to take advantage of small town living while still having access to the amenities of a bigger city. Well, and that's very true too. It's only seven miles to uh, Fruitland, which is right across the river from Ontario, which they have uh, Costco there and no sales tax. So it uh, might be a great place to check out. So yeah, what you've seen here is pretty much downtown. Let's see if we can get across this busy crosswalk here. And we'll take a look at the other side. So there's the senior center, the bank. They always have bank buildings, don't they? Oh, there's a thrift store over there. And we'll go take a look at some of these neighborhoods too. But I want to give you a feel for like, if you're living here, what it is that you're going to be doing um, for in-town recreation. Can you come over here and get your gallon of milk and whatever? There's a place to get your hair cut. Senior Center. Oh. I guess we're all going to be there someday, right? And then there's the thrift store. <laughs> Some very nice people. Wow, ooh, the air conditioner's running in there. I felt it coming through the door. Overhead garage doors right there. So the economy here is at 4.5%. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but the US average is six. But it does say recent job growth is positive. Um, cost of living compared to the rest of the country. New Plymouth's cost of living is 6.3% while uh, or 6.3 percent lower than the u.s average um, weather climate may or june september and may are the most pleasant months in new plymouth voting um, in the last presidential election payette county which is where we're at now um, is 78.5 percent republican to 19.1 percent not republican population here in our cute little town of New Plymouth comes in at 1,633. Well, with that new family, it's 1,637. Look at me doing higher math there. Payette County Fair Rodeo and FFA. That's pretty cool. Let's go check out some more town. Suddenly I got that old
And what a cute little park we have over here just a half block off the main drag. Let's check it out. Looks like they really like their horseshoes over here, huh? Which is kind of funny because this town is made in the shape of a horseshoe. In fact, it's the world's largest horseshoe. I know, it's kind of hard to believe, isn't it? But it's true. So speaking of history of this place, let's just talk about that for a little bit. Um, New Plymouth was, this is from Wikipedia, New Plymouth was a colony town bought and uh, planned before it was settled. It was the combined project of a group of people purportedly dissatisfied with city life in Chicago. Huh, didn't see that coming. Who in 1895 formed what they called the Plymouth Society of Chicago and William E. Smythe, who was the chairman of the executive committee of the National Irrigation Congress, was a famous irrigation promoter. Well, irrigation's important, right? Hey, we got Wi-Fi in Idaho. Who'd have thought? Um, what else? Mr. Smythe was determined to found a colony to serve as a striking argument in favor of his project. He spoke throughout the East, urging young and old men to go west in the colonies and develop the country with the help of irrigation. He wanted the first colony to be called New Plymouth after Plymouth, Massachusetts. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Never been here, but I want to see. Is this all tore up? No graffiti. It's got a mirror. It looks clean in here. Could you do that where you live? So he wanted it to be called New Plymouth after Plymouth, Massachusetts, Taxachusetts, and wanted it located in southwestern Idaho in the Payette Valley, which, funny enough, is where we're at which he had found apt for his purpose because of the extraordinary water supply via the nearby Payette River. Wow, that's pretty cool. I think we should go take a look at this Payette River. Oh my gosh, these shade trees. Just as an example of a home that you might be able to buy right here in uh, New Plymouth, it would be this one right here. Isn't it cute? Let's take a look. So this little gym has been with us since 1907. I'd say it's probably got a new roof since then. 2153 square feet. It's uh, on 0.19 of an acre. And it's right here on the main drag. You can see the uh, grocery store is right down there in front of us. And that's the main strip right down there where your senior center and your couple of places where you can get some adult beverages are at. Not bad. So what else is cool about this place? Four thirty nine is all they're asking. And you can have a little piece of history out here where it's so nice and peaceful and quiet. Well, I could go for some of that. So what's all this talk of a horseshoe? The world's largest horseshoe. Well, let's check it out. So here's some of the people that made history right here in New Plymouth. Interesting. But the horseshoe is this. And the horseshoe is that. We're kind of like right in the middle. It's this um, big U shape with the opening at the north. And it's called the Boulevard. Well, let's just hear what, um, what uh, Wikipedia has to say about it. The homes were to be built on the street side and the balance of the acre for the garden and pasture of the family, cow, and driving team. Two streets separated by an 80-foot park curve around the town in a horseshoe shape. This mile-long park and streets that enclose it were called the Boulevard. So the city's website says that New Plymouth is a wonderful community that welcomes all who visit. The country is beautiful, the people are friendly, and life here runs at just the right pace. Our city streets create a horseshoe shape, giving our town, our small town, the title of the world's largest horseshoe. It truly is a lucky place to live and play. Well, you know, I'd have to agree with that. But knowing how slow I walk, it's going to take forever for me to go that mile to show this to you. So let's jump in the magic Honda and take a little trip. All right, just so you know where we are, Here's downtown.
Here's the practice field for the school. And here's the beginning of the horseshoe. There's the green area in between these two streets to make this big U. That's the park. So certainly there's no uh, cookie cutter feel in this area. Every place is a little bit different. So if you lived in these houses, do you want to go for a jog or walk the dog? Basically, you just go outside, right there. It's your path. You see, they have it set up for frisbee golf. I never did get the hang of that. I have to tell you, all these trees make it feel a lot cooler here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm complaining about. It's only 93 out. I'm sure you people in Sacramento or Phoenix are well into the three digits. And this is pretty much the last of the horseshoe. We've made the big U already, and now we're on the other side of town. We're on West Boulevard, and we started out on East. Funny how that works. So this is a real estate show, and there's some very kind of fantastic news about real estate here in New Plymouth. So what's that all about? We have a new construction here at Harvest Creek. So we haven't had new construction here since I think the Truman administration, but now we do. Very nice. So we are just on the outskirts. Make that little bend in the road and then boom, right there is the horseshoe. So you're not, well, we're not too far from all the action. But I thought, well, I'm showing you this. Some of the houses are done, and they're absolutely great. That's a nice little number right there on the corner. So uh, it is a real estate show, so I'll give you some real estate numbers while we're here. So in the past 30 days, what we have right now is five homes currently active on the market, and they range from 330 to $440,000. So that's not bad, especially in the same home, you know, closer into Boise is going to cost a whole lot more. Um, pending. So we currently have seven homes pending and they range between 260 and 595. So there's uh, quite a range there. There are some areas around here that have just spectacular homes. And then we have sold within the last 30 days is six that's actually pretty good now some of those are these new construction out here because otherwise it's a uh, dead man's boots if you will meaning that you can't buy a house unless somebody's selling a house because there just isn't new construction so those that are sold the low end is 325 and the high end not that bad 465 so you're wondering but dave what about days on the market I know you were just wondering that, am I right? <laughs> so uh, for the pending homes that uh, are currently pending, we have between two days and 26 days of days on the market from the time the home hit the market to the time it went off or uh, got, got under contract to the buyer. And while I'm not using solds is because some of these new constructions, they're actually put on the market before they're even built. So it's kind of hard to sell something that's not built. So sometimes you'll see the days on market up into the, like the hundreds. Um, so that's, you know, kind of an outlier situation. But the bottom line is that um, New Plymouth, for New Plymouth, has a pretty brisk market going on out here. And uh, if you do want to live out here where there's only 1,600 other neighbors, um, peace, quiet, a whole different uh, slower pace of life, Gosh, this might be the place. Um, and oh, we're only like two, three miles from the Payette River. And they have a little park area up there. I want to go check that out too. So yeah, here we are out at the Payette River. And they have these little uh, places you can stop all up and down the river. Check it out. Ah, oh, you gotta love summer in Idaho. It's just warm enough. 
and the water's just cold enough. It makes for a perfect, perfect afternoon. Yep, here's Treasure Valley Dave. I'm out here four wheeling on a dirt path. That don't happen very often, huh? And there it is. Well, it looks like fun, doesn't it? Wow, having so much fun. What a nice slow river. It's almost like a swimming pool, except with more character. So there's the river on one side, great place. And then back behind us that way, there's some more bluffs. And beyond those bluffs are, are hiking trails. Um, I suppose you could take your dirt bikes out there too and just uh, enjoy the outdoors. And that's kind of the bottom line. You get to enjoy the great outdoors up here in New Plymouth. We're only like two and a half miles from right downtown New Plymouth. You could walk it, ride your bike, whatever, however you get here, just make sure you get here. Wow, that was pretty cool. Huh. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed our little tour in New Plymouth. And uh, we have a magazine about living in small towns in Idaho. And uh, you guys know about small towns, right? Everybody cares for each other and looks out for each other. It's really a kind of a nice thing. Anyway, you can get this magazine at our website, www.treasurevalleydave.com. Check it out. Download it for yourself. It's all free. And uh, gosh, thanks for coming along. And as always, Treasure Valley Dave, looking forward to helping you get home. Treasure Valley Dave here. Thank you for checking out this great video. Can I ask you, what problem do you have that I can help you with? Do you need to sell a home, buy a home? Are you a first time home buyer? Maybe looking to relocate to the beautiful Treasure Valley from some other state? The Treasure Valley Dave team is your expert by your side here to help you solve your real estate problem. You can contact us through our website or give us a call or text at 208-860-2004. Now go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss any future videos. For more education and entertainment, check out this great video next or binge on this playlist.